For years, people have argued back and forth about those red light cameras. Do they make it more dangerous or is it just a way to make money? Recently, we've seen cities across the country taking them down and tonight another city manager is saying get rid of them. Aurelia Ortega has more on the heated debate in El Mirage. Aurelia? Mark, starting today, if you run a red light at this intersection, Northern and El Mirage, you will no longer get a citation from this red light camera. That's because the city is doing away with this red, red light camera as well as three others. But they will continue to issue photo enforcement to catch speeders. The city manager did not go into much detail regarding his decision, only saying the same effect can be achieved through police monitoring. I think that's good. I think that's good. I think it's a good thing. The sun has gone down on the four red light cameras El Mirage installed just nine months ago. This is our budget season and I just made a what you call an executive decision and we will monitor our stops um, using our patrol officers. El Mirage city manager Spencer Isom says the city's 21 police officers are able to effectively monitor the red lights and issue citations. Strictly a manpower and how to uh, operate our department most efficiently and effectively. The cameras have generated more than a million dollars so far this fiscal year. Isom says the red light camera citations accounted for 10% of its citations. El Mirage residents have complained about the city overcharging them on their tickets and having to wait months for their refunds. It's our taxpayer money uh, that's paying for it, but then we pay the tickets and the tickets are outrageous. Most people hate the cameras, yeah, I know. According to records, there were as many as 8,000 potential violations for police to review. The standard fine for a red light ticket is $241, and for a speeding violation, that starts at 232. Live in El Mirage, Aurelia Ortega, 